Hello guys, welcome. You're watching Headset VR. Today we're going to do something a little bit funny. Well, no, okay, it's not the wife. We're going to be showing you how to install and play Kerbal Space Program in VR. Now, it's not the usual stereotypical game that you'd expect to play in VR or the kind of game that's usually modded to VR, but hell, it has been, so we're going to show you how to get going. Now, I'll put some relevant links in the description, but first of all, what you need to do is, now there's two ways you can actually do this, either install it all manually, or you can do it automatically. Now, there is a mod manager called CCAN, which will make things a little bit easier for you. So, what we do is, you come to this link here for the installation guide, and where it says automatic installation there, you click on to see you can the releases, and then you come down here, and you launch, well I should say you download the CCAN XE. Now what that will do is download the, the mod manager, so from there, if we just go into downloads, you'll see I don't actually have it because I'm already running it. So basically what you do is you run it on your desktop and it'll open up the mod manager. So what you do is you launch the .exe application and run it and this will pop up with a pull down menu in the bottom corner just here. Now there's two tabs on there and basically you'll have two, well you've got two options. One of them says manage game instances and also clone or fake new instance. What you do is click new game instance and then navigate to the root Kerbal Space Program directory. So if I want to just show you mine for example, now I have mine through Epic Game Store. So what you do is you go to the Kerbal Space Program and you look for the KSP directory and you select the build well this you, you select this file anyway go to settings in here and then what you do is hit on compatible game versions and make sure you've got 1.12 and 1.8 selected right then go to file and then from there, install from CCAN. And then from there, you select the Kerbal VR dependencies. Now, if you want all the pods available, you can choose DE underscore IVAE extensions and Reviva on the recommendations or settings. That's on here. But as you can see, I've got Reviva is here and I've also got the DEIVA extensions then from there you hit continue and then have a look at what's what's installed now I've installed a few additionals from here well, here is a little list of the full dependencies in the recommendations you'll have Ferrum Aerospace Research Reviva B9 Part Switch um, Vessel View UI Raster Prop Monitor, Rocket Sound Enhancement, Chatterer, um, Probe Control Room Recontrolled. Those are a full set of the recommendations of all the dependencies. But some of these you don't really want in CCAN. So you can go to Filters here, go to Installed then you can uninstall Ferrum Aerospace because that might need something called KSP Burst which might not necessarily be relevant okay right so what I have got installed here now is you can see you can see them all here but there's a few I have added in on the list so I'll just scroll through here but there's a few I have added in as some additional custom mods then you're going to need to apply changes you should realistically have about 23 installed now 
There is also another part of Vessel Viewer that you might need. So if you type Vessel Viewer in this search box here, or just type in Vessel View, and make sure you've got these three Vessel Viewers added in as well. Now what you do is you install the VR mod. If I go to Downloads, and find the VR mod. Right, here's the VR mod. Okay, and then also I've got the game directory because you're gonna be transferring some files over here. So what you're gonna do is there's game data here, and what you need to do is copy that over into the game data file here. Now just copy it and drop it into the file, it should just pop into there and disappear from here or just copy paste it whichever you want to do but make sure you don't end up with an additional game data folder sitting in here but what you need to do when you've copied it over just double check that Kerbal VR has appeared inside the game data folder and then also you'd need to copy over the KSP X64 and copy that over as well now they should merge, but like I say, make sure you don't end up with the game data folder inside the game data folder, and that you do have that Kerbal VR file just there. Okay. Now once you're done with that, run the VR installer.exe right here, and then point it at the root KSP directory. Now it doesn't matter if you do the VR installer bit first or the dragging and dropping bit first, it doesn't make a difference. Okay. And obviously, assuming that you've got Steam VR installed, from there, you just close these down, close this down, say hello to the alien, and then boot the game. Make sure your headset is turned on. And you can start it with Steam VR closed just the first time, and it should launch itself in future. If it doesn't launch, then you know something isn't working. Okay, now remember, VR only works in the flight scene and in the IVA or the EVA. And you can toggle VR with Alt and V in any scene. But you can only really look around in the places where it's not supported. Okay, and it does work for the Epic Game Store version, as you can see here. So let's hit the play button and get going. Now, when you get to the main menu, as we can see here, the one re way that you'll know for definite if it's working is that you'll notice the little kerbals have VR headsets on and the VR controllers. So if you know that's working, then, well, you know that's on, then you know it's working. If not, something isn't installed correctly. Now there is a ksp.log file in the root ksp directory, so if something's not working it will show up on there. Okay. Now if you don't have them, make sure that you have copied the game data folder to the root ksp directory. Like I say, there should be the Kerbal VR folder if so. Right. Now what we do is we'll just go into game and start a new now I would advise really going through the training before you do actually play the proper game but af after this I'm going to do some videos on some gameplay as well in VR so you can see what it's like let's just start a new and just to show you what it looks like in VR well we're just going to put it on sandbox for a giggle Okay, so the game is loaded up. Now in the headset, I can't see anything in the headset before I now hit Alt and V. I can now move the headset. I can see the headset. You might notice my controllers just sitting there on the desk in front of me. And I've got my hands. And I can, well, I can't actually manipulate anything 
with my hands so you do actually need to use mouse and keyboard but you've got six degrees of freedom like I say you've got full hand tracking well not full because you're missing a couple of fingers but you can mess around with the controllers if you like now you do need to use WAS and D that will zoom you well move you left and right forwards with W back with S left with A right with D and the mouse wheel will zoom you in like this hold the right button and you can turn yourself around and have a look at the actual base here now like I say this is literally just the start it's sort of like a space management sim but we're not here to actually oh is that my shadow it is my shadow but we're not here to discuss about gameplay we're here to show you how to get it set up so if you have any difficulty in getting the game set up in VR then drop me a comment in the video description below or you can drop a comment to the actual creator of the mod in flat to VR discord now I'll give a link to the discord channel now it was the actual mod operator well creator should say it was the mod creator that gave me a full-on idiot proof guys to actually get it set up he sat there with me and went through it all and he was absolutely brilliant and he did say oh I do need to do a setup guide and I did mention this as well I was actually planning on doing one of those so if you like I'll do a setup guide you carry on working on the mod and I'll signpost people right to here so I'm not going to go through any gameplay we'll do the gameplay at another date maybe I might have already done the gameplay before this guide comes out but otherwise like I say any problems just follow the signposts there's links in the description below if you like the video and you found it helpful check out a like hit the subscribe button to see more VR related content from heads of VR otherwise I'll respond to every comment that's made on the videos unless you are completing it a twat badger in which case I'll not respond so thanks very much for watching this is headset VR and this is how you get Kerbal Space Program set up in VR now I'm here using a Quest 2 headset with a link cable I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM I'm using an RX6600 XT GPU and a Ryzen 9 3900X CPU and oh look I think I can see the Death Star ah, the Empire's coming thanks a lot folks see you soon unless Darth Vader's killed us bye 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 bye